It is all your fault that we have to eat out here in the backyard and miss a gourmet dinner with the lieutenant governor and his wife. Wait, why is that my fault? You remember what happened when the Yangs came over for dinner? Lois, take that off your fork right now. Right. <laughs> what? That was a good look for her, right? Besides, you want to be in there eating our fancy pants food? I mean, Dong's going to be back here any second with the takeout. You're comparing takeout with a world-class feast prepared by Chef Pierre? Chef Pierre. Wee, wee, wee. Chef Pierre. Wee, wee, wee. Gigi, come on. Let's go, let's go. No slacking or I send you packing. Oh, I'll be no, 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 no. Naughty, Whoa. naughty. Huh? I don't want to see faces in my kitchen. Oh, I was just having oh, a more no, faces. No, no, no. Go, leave, leave. Did you see that? The guy hit me. Oh, Steve, just remember what tonight is all about, okay? I know. We need to make a good impression on the lieutenant governor so he'll support your family care. That's bill. right, that's right. Now, do you think it's okay that we have the kids eating outside? Honey, mm -hmm. remember when the Del Rubios came over? This is this is how you do it. I, I've had it done for you. Scrape it with the nails. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, it's good they're outside. They like takeout. What the heck is that? It's tofu. Who wants an in-cut? Does it really matter? <clears throat> we might as well eat lawn clippings. Oh, that reminds me. What is tofu without a little dried kelp, huh? Check, please. Oh, oh Louis, look. Where's she? Beluga caviar and flaky pastries. Oh, with onion garnish. Louis? Oh, so that's why I put in that doggy door. Oh, kitty food! Oh. It's now time to prepare us a canard. Let's go! Lieutenant Governor Woods, welcome! Hello, Eileen. Come in. Where's Dottie? Oh, she'll be along shortly. I was playing tennis, she's playing racquetball. <clears throat> I hope nobody's robbing the house. <laughs> uh, 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 Dave, this is my husband, Steve Stevens. How do you do? It's a pleasure. Uh, I'm very excited to tell you all about my family care bill. Oh, Eileen, I know you're very passionate about this new legislation. But I have a rule. I never discuss politics on an empty stomach. Gives me gas. <laughs> <laughs> Give us some gas. <laughs> I'm serious. Where's the canard? Bring me the canard! Beat! Beat! Go, 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 go! Unbelievable! You people lose my canard, huh? huh? I see faces, I see no canard, huh? First there's too much garlic on the huh? Then the chef me you overcook! What is going on, people? Find my canard! You want me to go crazy here? You want me to throw things around, huh? Come on! Look! You people are fools! I'm true! You need to put back my canard! What do you think you are buffing? Fine quality leather boots, sir. Go! Get out of my kitchen! Leave now! I don't want to see you again! Run me! Mm. This stuff is too foolicious. We haven't touched this yet. What's wrong? I'm just hoping it's going to morph into a cheeseburger. Hey, guys. What did you bring? Oh, no, nothing. I, I couldn't hear the stuff. Then why do you have chocolate smeared all over your face? I don't know how that got there. How could you be so selfish? The reason why we're out here is because of you, and you couldn't even get a little morsel of food? Mm. No, I did, actually. You like snails? Well, escargot, it's a French delicacy. Get out of here. Because I found this in Twitty's driveway. <laughs> Prepare for pain! You better run! Hey! Donnie, I got your gunk on my shoe! That That's gunk it. in my dinner! There's a duck in our backyard, man. Yeah, right, Lewis. I'm not gonna fall for that. All there's a duck in the backyard routine. Hey, hey, duck. Don't touch him. You don't know where those webbed feet have been. Hey, go ahead, take my little dude. Name's Seymour. How do you know his name is Seymour? I know, he just looks like a Seymour, right? Hey, 
You gonna give Uncle Donnie a kiss? Oh! Hey, man, for no lips, you kiss pretty good. Let me see. Oh, gosh. Oh, he's... What? It's your turn. No! Yeah, go ahead. No! No, I'm not, on. I'm not, I don't do duck kisses, okay? Peck. Yeah, he likes you. Go ahead. Okay, he's cute. His waves. All right, I got the wings. You got him? Yes. Okay. He's very cute. Yes, you are. You're so <laughs> cute. Yes, you are. You should... <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. It's just my nose is a little... <sighs> Did that big mean lady hurt you? There is my canard! Faces! I've been looking all over for my canard! Hey, don't worry about it. Don't be scared. It's just a guy in a big hat looking for his canard. You know what? I hate to tell you this, but a uh, canard is French for duck. So? Seymour is going to be eaten for dinner. Rodney! No. No, you're not. No, I'm sorry. Uh, you have a better chance cooking me, bud. Oh! That can be arranged! Hey, look at here, Sheffy. Nobody's cooking my brother or his duck. You people are crazy. Look, guys, this, this dinner is very important for my mother. Why don't we just, you know, make a vegetarian dish? We have tofu. Is that it? Huh? Unless you give me my canard, this party is over. No more food, no chepier, no faces. I count to three. Un, deux, trois! I thought he said he was going to count to three. Tell Lewis. Look, we have to be honest and tell Mom and Dad what happened. Who are we supposed to tell her? We have to put Chef Peter quit because we wouldn't let him murder a defenseless duck? No. Look, the longer that we wait to tell her, the more embarrassing it's going to be for Mom. Am I right, Tony? She's right, Lewis. Guys, if this dinner doesn't happen, Mom's bill's not going to get passed. He's right, Ren. Hey. I'm confused now. Kids, what are you doing in the house? Where's Chef Pierre? Where's all the food? What? All the food? Uh, Chef Pierre took it outside of the truck to keep it warm. Even the cold appetizers? <laughs> <coughs> what? what was that? Cold appetizers, yes. Uh, they were getting too warm, so he took them outside to uh, cool them down. Kids, I have a very hungry lieutenant governor out there who won't even talk about my family care bill until he has food in his stomach. Ren, I want you to give me a straight answer. Mommy, well... <laughs> well, the reason why we're here is... Well, the chef... The chef said that the food's gonna be in in a couple of minutes. Really? Yes. Really? Really. Oh, well, you know, that chef Pierre's very eccentric. Okay, well, you know, it's okay because yeah. the, the governor's wife, Mrs. Woods, isn't even here yet, so... Right. All right, go. Okay. Canard, it's gonna be great. <sighs> what am I telling the truth? I, can't, I couldn't tell her, guys. Shh. Look, we can pull this off. All we need is something to cook for dinner. What? Not Seymour. No, wait, wait. I'll get takeout duck. They'll never know the difference. It's perfect. Oh, and I'll go and entertain them. I'll uh, just need some duct tape and funny glasses. Oh, <laughs> I don't think so, Chuckles. You're not even going to get out of this room. What's now, you're going to be the chef. Make some appetizers and make them good. Family care is so very... I wish the Ambersons would fix their garage door. That is a nuisance. Oh. That was my stomach. Getting hungry myself. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. You want gourmet food? I will give them gourmet food. What's that? Oh, sprinkles, huh? I like the way you think. Come on, baby. Do it for daddy. Ah. Excuse me, is this the dinner party? Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, good. Um, take care of her for me, please, and uh, I'll make sure that you get something extra special on my way out, okay? And please don't smudge the Lamborghini. Sorry I'm late. Hi, hon. Mm. Uh, the valet parking, well, that is just such a real lovely touch. Valet parking? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you know I'm such a fan of Chef Pierre's. Uh, I just cannot wait to meet him. Have I missed any of his exotic creations? The only thing you've missed is my stomach growling. 
<laughs> what are you people laughing at? I'll go check on those appetizers. Oh, well, appetizers, madame. Finally! <laughs> oh, interesting. What is it? Well, it's an eclectic fusion of American flavors. It's um, seared marshmallow wrapped in bacon and topped with an olive. Mmm. <coughs> That chef Pierre is a genius. I'm telling you. <laughs> He's always coming up with some new surprises. I'm going to go see what other surprises he has cooked up for us now. Come, dear. Sure. Oh, Wait, yeah, now, you just... Just... Oh, this is what is going on in here? Where is chef Pierre? Who is that? Is this Seymour? Ma, maybe you better sit down. I don't need to sit down. Oh, well, okay. Louis got into an argument with chef Pierre and he quit. Oh. Actually, now I need to lie down. Right. Mom, I don't think you've heard the whole story. I mean, Chef Ch Pierre was trying to cook Seymour, and Seymour's like one of the family now. Oh. Well, actually, more like Ren. That thing bit me. It's more like you. What am I supposed to do for dinner? My guests are expecting a gourmet duck. Well, don't worry about it. We have everything under control. Donnie's getting takeout duck right now. Ren, Mr. and Mrs. Woods have eaten in the finest restaurants all over the world. Do you think they're going to be fooled by silly snacks and takeout? Darling, any more of those delectable hors d'oeuvres? Uh... Yes, Dave, on my way. I'll be right there. Oh, do you realize how embarrassing this is going to be for me? No, no. You just keep your eye on the prize, okay? You get that bill passed. We'll take care of dinner. <clears throat> yes. This is not going to work. Yes, it will. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Seymour, I hope you realize that. Seymour? 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 Can you, can you go look up the. Seymour! I'm on a part three. I should have used my nine iron, but I went and pulled my seven iron out of the bag. Do you play golf, Dave? No, I hate the game. But you want to know what I really enjoy? What's that? Eating duck. Look, you dropped your napkin. Come help me find it. <coughs> Shh, listen to me. Yeah? Chef Pierre quit. Donnie's out buying duck and Lois made the appetizers. What? Shh! Oh. Natural. I found you! <laughs> 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 Wow, sweet wheels. Yeah? Have you ever smelt real Italian leather before? Go ahead, take a whiff. This baby has 15 layers of candy apple red paint, huh? Oh, oh no! <laughs> Sorry, girls. I gotta get some duck. <laughs> well, you're in quite a hurry, Richie Rich. Officer, you understand. My mom needs to pass her bill. And the lieutenant governor, well, he's expecting Kennard. But his wife, she asked me to park the Lamborghini. And I can't find Duck anywhere. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna need some backup here. Donnie. I don't know. We can run out together. What? Is the jock ready? Actually, the chef is just putting on some finishing touches. <gasps> you know what? I am so sorry that it's taking. Did you just drop your napkin? Oh, here, you little dark or temple. You get for your nap. <laughs> Dave? Well, it wasn't me. You know, I was actually going to give you. <gasps> you bite me, and I'll bite you right back. Come back here, you little. Eighteen piece, uh, extra crackly. Oh, officer, uh, thank you so much. Glad to help out, son. I had a pet duck myself as a boy. Quacky, wacky. We had some good times. 
Uh, let's move out. Good luck, son. Thanks. Well, I am just going to go see what's taking Chef Pierre so long. Dottie, no, don't do that because Chef Pierre is very temperamental. He does not like to be bothered. Yeah, I heard he clobbered a guy with a ladle once. That's why he's not allowed back in Belgium. Don't worry, dear. I know how to handle these people. Dinner is served. Well, that was just amazing. I'm going to have to go thank Chef Pierre right now. Uh, I should thank him, too. Oh, no. Uh, 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 I'm coming. duck I've ever had. Uh, people, the, the chef is very busy right now. I just to tell Chef Pierre how much we just love. Say, say, I can't. Say, say. We don't want to interrupt. We just say, want to thank you. Hey, <clears throat> Seymour's back. I mean, who puts this duck in my kitchen? You got beautiful kitchen. He's out of the that finds you, people. Mean. Eileen, hmm? what's going on here? Is this some kind of joke? Bucket of duck. Isn't that fast food? I can explain all of this. Yes, Eileen can explain all of this. Good luck. Obviously, this is not Chef Pierre. <laughs> and this has not been a gourmet meal. And, well, this is my family, and I guess I could have stopped this whole nonsense when I first heard about it. It's my fault, too, honey. I fathered them. No, people, please. I mean, I'm the one who thought that we could pull this off. I'm part to blame as well. I, I did put 93 miles on the, uh, the Lambie. No, guys, that's very noble of you, but um, but there's only one bad egg here, and that's me. I messed up. I messed up on a regular basis. That's my parents. So, you were all in on this. Well, yeah, but we only wanted you to have a perfect dinner so you would support Mom's bill. Eileen, when I first read your bill, I could see that you were very passionate about family. But now that I've seen your little plan in action, I can see where that passion comes from. I'd be proud to support your bill. Really? Now, people, listen. Down to important business. What's for dessert? Now you can laugh, I mean. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Ren. Good night, Donnie. Good night, Mom. Good night, Louis. Good night, Seymour. Ha, ha, ha.